the other week we spoke about uh, some of the issues on Safaria. I love using Safari. I've been using it for years. It's a fantastic website, safaria.org. Uh, has all Hebrew texts, uh, a lot of English texts, translating, commentary. Uh, I emailed them because in the past I found texts on there that were either pro-Christianity, uh, discussing Jesus, uh, and things of the nature, and I wanted to understand what was Safaria's take on it. So I sent them an email asking if they have translations that are uh, pro the New Testament, Christianity, and things of the nature. And their response was no. Then their response again was no. This was a recent email the last week. And I know that I've seen it there. Uh, I looked up a few other places to find it. And uh, there was an article last year, uh, May 9th, 2022. Uh, this came out in the Lakewood Scoop. This was Rabbi Aaron Link, Link re, ripping Safari uh, app over Trafe content. And uh, it was updated with a response from Safari. When I got the, no, the two no's from Safari, I followed it up with this article and asked them, what about this? And the seemingly response to, from them was, oh, you asked us if there's a translation that was pro-Christianity. And we said, no. That's not a translation, that's a commentary. And we allow commentaries of all the nature on Safari, um, which is weird. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know what they're trying to, what they're trying to play me on the word that I told them it was a translation. If something's seemingly in English and it's translating from, Engl from, from Hebrew, I call it a translation. If they call it a commentary and for them that is why it would be allowed, I, that's, that's crazy. Um, but let's read this article from the Lakewood Scoop. Uh, it's interesting, Rabbi Langry, picked up on it. Uh, so let's take a look. He, a wrongly translated portion of a Gemaran Safari app has readers and Rabbanim shocked. The portion in question alleges to translate a Gemara, but brings in Christian sources information, which obviously does not translate the Gemara. A Sefer Torah, which has one letter broken, is Pasul, said Rabbi Aaron Linkley. So if it's electronic and has a portion of it that's trafe, the whole thing is trafe. Okay, so he brings in Daf Shavu'i on Masechet Sukkah, Daf Lamed, Amud Aleph, uh, and I'll read it in English, and then we'll read the response. We should note that the issue of paying the temple tax, half shekel per year, was contentious in ancient Judaism. Jesus, who was, who was after all a Jew, seems to have been adamantly opposed to this tax. His position is articulated in Matthew 17-24-26. Um, uh, after Jesus and his disciples arrived at in Kirpan, the collectors of the two drachma tax came to Peter and asked, doesn't your teacher pay the temple tax? Yes, he does. He replied, what is this garbage? What the hell is this? Well, that's not even right. You know what? And look how, look how, look, they, they put this on Safari. And wait till you hear what, what I don't even want to read the rest of this garbage, but I, I want to show you what the response was. Rabbi Lincoln reached out to developers, but says the response was quite shocking. I can certainly relate to your discomfort with this text. Shmuel Weissman, manager of text acquisition and text quality, wrote an email. Safari holds content from a wide range of authors and, trade and translators. For some, using Christian literature for historical perspective is a standard mode of study. Weird. Uh, thank you for your response, but it was not the response I was looking for, Rabbi Lincoln responded. I fear that it can have negative impact on a pure mind and that this can and this is the way the Talmud can be misinterpreted. Of course it can be misinterpreted. You, you mean everyone using Safari is expected to know this? How could that be? I've seen Safari being used by kids. They're not checking the, you know, what's being said there. Rabbi Lincoln added, I won't recommend the use of your app and I'll share with my colleagues my recommendation. For the time being, Rabbi Linkri is encouraging others not to use the app for Torah study. Update. Okay, on Friday, one of our readers reached out to Safari as well and sent them the link to our story with the following message. This is going public very quickly. We hope you will come out with a public apology and reconsider what you do. Hashem Yerachem, Moshe Emet, Vitorato Emet, sincerely. Okay, Rachel Buckman. I believe Rachel Buckman is the one that responded to my email too. Of Safari responded today with the following. Hi. Thank you for reaching out to Safari regarding the recent article in the Lakewood Scoop. The text shown in the article is incorrectly stated to be a translation of a Gemara. The particular text, Daf Shavui, is not a translation, but rather an original modern English commentary on the Daf. So they, they're, they're, playing, they're playing with their terminologies, definitions of stuff. Um, 
To learn more about any text in Safari or library, click on About This Text in the Resource Panel. That's a great response. That's great. That's the response you give to someone where you don't want to answer the question. Safari is a non-denominational library of Jewish texts and host material from various sources. We understand that not every text is appealing to every user, and we leave it to our users to choose the text most appropriate for their learning, just as you would in any library. If you would like to learn more about Safari and our mission, click here. All the best, Rachel Buckman, Senior Education Associate. And then furthermore, the article goes, I'm bewildered by the response. The reader wrote, what's the difference if a translation or a commentary? Which is what I said. Do they represent Orthodox Judaism? Thank you for bringing this important issue to the forefront. All right, this is the Lakewood Scoop. Um, Rabbi Lankri, Hashem Yehayu um, By the way, I've seen this myself. So it's not surprisingly, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's sponsored by William Davidson, the whole entire safari project. I think when I looked it up, he's an individual that's either conservative or reform. And you have to understand that if he's financing this, he might be financing other things that are pro those parts of conservative and reform. It's not, if it's not Orthodox Judaism, it's an issue. Now, um, the text that's on Safari is seemingly free, which means a person can get uh, access to the text itself. But do have, they would just have to create another website um, that has a good user interface, which they have a fantastic user interface, and put it all together. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of money. Um, but if this seemingly doesn't get stopped in the future, this might be a project that might be worth for someone in Cloudy Set to take up, where Safari, unfortunately, is dropping the ball. Uh, uh, it, they came out with something fantastic, being used by many to study Torah, but if that type of stuff comes in, New Testament, Christianity stuff, it's a problem. It has to be well known to those using uh, the app. So that's all for today. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen ve'amen.